The five-week training program for agricultural regions 1 to 1 to 7 exposed farmers to updated agricultural practices which are likely to improve farming processes. Good agricultural practices, cultivation management and pesticide use, post-harvest technologies, record keeping and marketing, and business planning were among other fundamental topics covered. Permanent Secretary of the Department of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicier, in encouraging farmers to network and strengthen relationships among themselves, says that the full benefits of this recent farmer training program can only be realized if knowledge sharing remains at the forefront of farmers' agendas. According to him, education and attitude are two critical characteristics for success in the agricultural industry. With education and attitude, perhaps you can get to good agricultural practices. But if you want to distinguish yourself, I say you have to get to great agricultural practices. You have to put a capital GG on that. So you have to distinguish yourself and take that and learn. You have to evolve as a farmer, evolve as a businessman, evolve as a person if you want to succeed and have a premium product in this market to distinguish yourself and to add value to what you produce. Ambassador of the Taiwan Embassy to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Cheyenne Chen, in extending his congratulatory message to graduates, encouraged farmers to take advantage of all the opportunities provided by the Seven Crops Project. In order to promote local production and consumption, the government of Taiwan has been working with the government of St. Lucia to promote the seven important crops on a sustainable basis since 2019. Every successful project comes down to people. That's why this training program are one of the most critical parts of the Seven Cross project. To date, over 250 farmers have been certified through the enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution supply chains in the fruits and vegetable sector project. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Anton reporting.